Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I've got another Tokyo feature for you and it has to do with knowledge management. Knowledge management is one of those applications that spans the platform. Almost every single offering that ServiceNow offers usually has some kind of knowledge component, whether that's internal, um, just to the team that's using the application, external to your users within the organization, or even external to your customers or someone and a portal. So basically, the new feature that was released with uh, Tokyo is the ability to enable or disable the the ability, so the ability to enable or disable the ability to rate articles or mark articles as helpful or not helpful for a particular knowledge base. Before I show you how we used to do this, let me show you a knowledge article in the portal. I'm in Employee Center and you can see I've got a nice knowledge article with headers. I've got a little section for an email, kind of called out separately. And look at this right here. These two things on the bottom, rate this article and mark it as helpful. These are actions people can take to say, yes, this article is helpful, or this is a piece of junk article. Someone needs to go look at it. Now there's another property in here that it can automatically create a task for somebody, usually the person who authored the article, when one of these is interacted with. So if someone marks it as not helpful, create a feedback task. If something has got a low rating, create a feedback task, even commenting, but commenting is not what we're talking about in this video. So that's the functionality we're talking about enabling or disabling. And the way that we used to do this is with the system properties. So let's hop over to system properties. I'm gonna go over to system prop or sys underscore properties dot list. That takes me to all of the system properties in the entire platform not just for a particular ap application. And I happen to know that the two settings that I need to show you are have the word underscore rating in them and when it relates to knowledge. And I'll show them to you right here. There's the knowledge star uh, underscore st show underscore star underscore rating roles and then just plain. And then you've got this um, yes, no, or YN just below that. This is what we used to do when we're implementing with a customer and like, whoa, 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 whoa. We're not ready for feedback on our knowledge articles yet is typically one case. The other one is usually, hey, this is stuff that is like mandatory. That's a policy or something. People need to see this. We don't care what their feedback is because it's already gone through an approval and it needs to be out there, right? Knowledge isn't just used for knowledge management, the typical ITSM or ITIL flavor of knowledge. So these were where we could come in and set this to false. Um, this particular setting right here shows star rating, and then it wouldn't show that rating for people to one to five stars. Same for the yes, no, that's marked as helpful, yes, no. If we mark it as false, it wouldn't show up, but that would be system-wide for all the knowledge bases. So what Tokyo gave us is the ability to do that just for a particular knowledge base. So let's hop over there. I've got on my left hand side here all of my articles, my ownership groups, my feedback management, my knowledge blocks. There's my knowledge bases. So if I open a particular knowledge base, let's stick with my IT example here. Um, we'll open up the IT knowledge base. Now I'm going to have a setting to enable or disable those ratings or the uh, mark is helpful or not. And it's as simple as these uh, check boxes right here. Um, these are the two that I want you to pay attention to, disable rating or disable mark is helpful. So let's take a look at that with that one. It's, this was the IT phishing scams, right? So that's probably in the IT one here. Let's just make sure before we change this, I'm just gonna search for phishing, hit enter. And yeah, where, where, what are the phishing scams and how can I avoid them is what are the phishing scams and how can I avoid them? So let's go ahead and disable the rating and disable mark as helpful on the knowledge base level, not touching that system property. And then I'll come over here and we'll just refresh this page and we'll watch what happens to this helpful yes, no, or rate this article with the five stars. So I'll scroll back down after refreshing and look at that. It is gone. It is no longer showing for this knowledge article because this knowledge article is in the knowledge base that we changed that property for on this particular knowledge base. That's it. That's the new Tokyo feature. It looks really simple, but it's something that a lot of people wanted, a lot of people needed, and look how easy it is to use. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might want more control over their knowledge bases and their knowledge articles in ServiceNow. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.